Hi, I'm Mike Lee with Team Horizon, and this is the Team Tech Tip. In this Tech Tip video, I'm going to show you how to set up the aileron differential on the Spectrum DX9 transmitter. Aileron differential is when you have a different amount of upward movement on the aileron than the downward movement. This is used on aircraft with long, high aspect ratio wings, such as sailplanes, gliders, and even some power planes like the Piper Cub. The use of aileron differential allows more axial rolling mode when the aircraft rolls into a turn. Without aileron differential, the downward moving aileron causes much more drag than it does roll. The result is that the aircraft will not turn smoothly. It will not roll cleanly. By not allowing the descending aileron to move downward as much, the amount of drag is greatly reduced and the aircraft rolls cleanly into the turn. In our tech tip video, I'm going to program positive differential meaning that the aileron will rise more than the descending aileron relative to the neutral position. In this case, we're going to make the aileron move twice as high than it descends for a 2 to 1 ratio. Please note that this feature will only work on models that have a separate servo for the, each aileron surface and is not using a common connector such as a Y connector. So let's get down to it right now. First, let's set up our ailerons so that they're centered up in the trim and on the servo. As you can see, they're both moving the same amount at this time. Now we go to our DX9 and starting from the operational screen, we're going to go into our functional screen. Depress the scroll switch once. We're now in the function list. Find differential, which is right in the middle, and scroll down to that. Depress the scroll switch once. Now you're in the main menu for differential. Your cursor is here up on list. So let's move it on down to position, and there you see it's highlighted the number box out there. We're going to go ahead and change that by first depressing on the scroll switch once. It's now active. We can change that value from zero. We're going to go to 50. Go ahead and depress the scroll switch once, and now we go to the switch selection. In my case, I'm going to leave it constantly on all the time because I want that differential on my aircraft at all times. But you can also assign it to a different switch position. That way you can turn it on or off at will. Depress the scroll button. You can do it in the flight mode, switch A, B, C, D, and so on, just by going by that assignment. In my case, again, I just want it to be on all the time. So I'm going to go back to on and depress the scroll switch one. That locks it on in. We can now back on out by hitting the back key, and we're ready to go. Let's go see on our servo simulator to see how this works. We are now on our servo simulator, and watch the movement here. You see the descending aileron goes down about one inch, but now watch what happens when we go up. It's just literally off the dial. So you can definitely see there that we have differential on this aileron. If you look at the opposite aileron, it's doing the same thing, going up but not as much down. That's aileron differential. We're all done. If you need to make adjustments after flying, it's easily done in the DX9 electronically, not mechanically. Much faster. Of course, the only way to find out if you have the correct amount of differential is by flying the model and trying it out. Hopefully you'll find that the setting will be very close to what you'd like. But if not, it's a simple matter of adding more or less using the transmitter and not the mechanical setup like your clevis or push rod. I hope you've enjoyed this Team Tech Tip, and I hope it's been of service to you as well as helped you with the enjoyment of your hobby. I'm Mike Lee with Team Horizon, and you just got a Team Tech Tip. Thanks for watching.